Elon Musk reveals new details on how to build a society on Mars. Elon Musk, the SpaceX entrepreneur, lays forth his proposal to turn humans into a multi-planetary species, including a 10-year timescale. Hello guys, the Earth checks most of the boxes for home planets, oxygen, water, food, and beautiful scenery. There are, however, dangers to consider. What if a nuclear conflict, an asteroid collision, or a rogue AI blew everything up, erasing our peaceful existence? Fortunately, Elon Musk is ahead of the game, announcing his ambition to send humans to Mars as a backup drive for humanity. In a recent event, the billionaire entrepreneur expanded on his proposal as to how he plans to build a society on Mars. If you weren't aware, Mars is one of the closest habitable planets to Earth. Despite its distance of 140 million miles, it receives adequate sunshine and is chilly enough for people. Humans can cultivate plants on Mars by compressing the atmosphere, mainly carbon dioxide with some nitrogen and argon thrown in for good measure. On Earth, the days are separated by a 24-hour limit, whereas on Mars, the days are separated by around 24 hours and 37 minutes. In reality, gravity is about the same as it is on Earth. Humans can adapt and survive on Mars, as evidenced by flights. The trip to Mars, on the other hand, will take approximately six months. Making life on Mars verifiable will require roughly 1,000 spaceships and a million tons of vitamin C. Elon Musk says that living on Mars will be possible only if an autonomous ship is built. The ships, and the necessity to resupply them, have been a major stumbling block to the takeover of Mars. According to NASA, the planet's reserves are sufficient to ensure life on the planet. The viability of life on Mars is primarily determined by how much colonization is required. Given the planet's modest differences from our own, individuals who find themselves on it may face some difficulties, particularly if they do not have enough supplies to last them for the duration of their mission. It's a problem that Elon Musk has figured out a way to solve. SpaceX has plans to send a starship into space on the back of an extremely heavy booster known as the Big F rocket, or BFR, which can transport nearly 13 tons into space. According to SpaceX, the world's most powerful rocket booster, the Falcon, will be capable of carrying a few hundred tons into space. In fact, in his plans to colonize Mars, the BFR will be 25 floors tall with 42 strong Raptor engines capable of lifting an entire Boeing 747. So far as we can tell, a BFR will propel a starship into orbit and connect to a comparable booster that has already been installed to give support for the journey to Mars. The Starship Transportation System to Mars will use reusable Starship rockets three times per day, carrying a 100-ton payload on each trip. A total of 100,000 tons of cargo will be in orbit, ready to be delivered to the Red Planet. Every 26 months, a thousand Starships could transport around 100,000 individuals from Earth to Mars. Did you know that the Earth and Mars align once every two years, creating a window for fast travel? While each spacecraft traveling into orbit above Earth will burn the majority of the fuel, many tanker spaceships might launch and replenish the carriers with additional fuel to reach the destination of Mars. Employees at SpaceX are hard at work on the spaceship system. It's possible that a landing on Mars will take place around 2022 or 2023. Elon Musk indicated that a mass human invasion would not occur anytime soon, but that there would be many more jobs on Mars than on Earth, including direct democracy. Residents will make decisions for themselves with fewer and less complex regulations than on Earth. What is one of the most essential things for survival? Yes, food it is. Food will be cultivated on solar-powered hydroponic farms either underground or in an enclosed structure. It'll be near water and ice deposits, according to studies. This position will power the array of solar panels deliberately positioned to receive ample sunshine. The spaceships can only be refueled with materials found on the planet, which will be relatively simple. The fuel used by the SpaceX ships is liquid methane and liquid oxygen, which can be easily replicated on Mars. For solar panels, we'll need around 56,000 square meters of ground. These panels can easily be transported to Mars on a single starship, Elon Musk adamantly desires that the initial starships be loaded with the machinery and cargo required for immediate future voyages. These tools are needed for humans to construct enough long-term facilities to generate electricity, collect water, and convert raw materials into oxygen. So it seems that the time is not far when we can put our steps on Mars. We all have been waiting for this moment for a long time. 
Isn't that a dream come true? What do you guys think? Guys, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you want to see more space related videos, then please hit that subscribe button. We'll be back again with another video. Until then, take care and bye.